Kirian, my precious bugaboo. Wow, where do I even begin? Four years ago, you lured me in with those terrible, terrible Twilight movies. I lost a bet, which still to this day, I feel I won. That one move scored me a date with you at our favorite pizza restaurant with our movie at our favorite theater. My life has forever changed for the better since that cold, wintry November day. I remember when we went on our first date. I wonder if it was a real date. I suppose our first kiss at the end of the night helped clear up that question. I remember going home and telling my mom that I was going to marry you. On Friday, March 13th, 2015, at the age of 26, we were faced with circumstances we were not necessarily prepared for. You were diagnosed with breast cancer. For the first time in my life, I felt truly tested. I knew you didn't sign up for this, and I felt selfish asking you to fight this battle with me when there were so many unknowns. As my heart was shattering and the fear was suffocating, you gave me hope through the love you showed me. You closed my hand over my engagement ring and pulled me in close. Through sobs, you promised me you weren't going anywhere and that you would always be there for me, every step of the way, and you were. Tim, you were the light on my darkest days. You were the reason I never gave up. Your love for me gave me the strength to fight every single day, and you make me unbelievably happy. Today is our day, Bugaboo. Today is the day I get to marry my true superhero. I love you so much and cannot wait to see you. The words on this paper are incapable of capturing the love I have for you. I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you, Timothy. So good. Love always, your future wife and bugaboo. Thank you. It's not pink. Yes, it's not pink. <laughs> We are here this evening to share with Carrie Ann and Timothy an important moment in their lives. In their time together, we have seen their love and understanding of each other grow, and now they have decided to live out their lives together as one. Your friendship grew into something much more. Tim, to see how you stood by Carrie Ann, to see how deeply you loved her beyond anything we could have imagined, and Carrie Ann, <laughs> to see your strength, your deep love for Tim, May your love for each other be endless, just as God's love for you is endless. I promise to continue along this path we have chosen, to grow in our faith together, and to one day mentor and be the example couples confide in when seeking a marriage of honor and true love. I promise to support you, encourage you, and cherish you in sickness and in health. I will, even in times of hardship, remain an even keel, and ensure you are always protected. I promise to be a real life example of a Proverbs 31 wife, walking in faith with you by my side and communicating fully and fearlessly. I promise to love, respect, and trust you and give you the best of myself. For I know that together we can build a life far better than either of us could imagine alone. Together we can build a life that's far better than either of us can imagine alone. I promise to always give you two kisses before I leave for the day with an I love you and see you later, but never goodbye.
the presence of God, and these are our friends. I take thee to be my wife. I take thee to be my husband. Promising with divine assistance to be unto thee a loving and faithful husband. To be unto thee a loving and faithful wife, so long as we both shall live. So as long as we both shall live. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. When I tried to explain our working relationship one time, I said, the reason Tim and I work together so well, it's because we fill each other's holes. It sounded really good in my head. It was about this time that Carrie Ann came to me and said, I have a secret, grinning from ear to ear. She told me she had started dating Tim. I responded by saying, who? <laughs> she said, Tim, the guy in the gang unit. I said, that guy never talks, he's terrifying. What do you guys even do together? She responded by saying, we watched all the Twilight movies. I remember when she told me the first time you two went out, and Vicki actually talked about it, and she was very nervous, and that's when I knew that she actually cared about you, because she did not care about anybody at all, ever. Don't fight, but if you have to fight, fight naked. It was my daughter's dance recital, and you showed up, not knowing nobody, with flowers, first time and you blew me away. I just never knew anybody that had the resolution that these two showed going through this battle together. Tim, I just want to say welcome and we love you. We could tell that Carrie Ann was the special one and um, we're happy to have her in the family. It's the first uh, Mrs. Schuster in the family in 34 years. You guys beat cancer together. Financial troubles, child raising, buying a house, it's all small potatoes at this point. I love you both. I look forward to a long and loving life with all, both of you, and of course, the grandchildren. May peace and plenty bless your world with joy that long enders. May all life passing seasons bring the best to you and yours. Love you too. To the fittest couple in this room. I hope you two have a long, boring, normal life. It's a long journey. Make it wonderful. <laughs>